Oh, oh, boy, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Y suscribe. We tapping into, but shout out to you, got 14,000 subscribers in Knicks Media doing your thing. He gives uh, Kendrick Perkins prediction, bold prediction, on the New York Knicks this season. To the odds of the regular season wins after hearing what Big Perk had to say. So let's get right into business and hear what Big Perk had to say. And then we'll go into what I think of this. Is it possible? Let's find out. Governor of New York, and I know Tracy Morgan is watching right now. <laughs> Damn it. Look, this is not an individual sport. It's a team sport. My bold take is that the New York Knicks are going to have the best record, not just in the Eastern Conference, in the entire NBA in the regular season. They're going to have the best record in the league. I mean, when you think about what big body Bronson did last year, best player in the Eastern Conference, he's going to come back on a di different mission. Acquiring Mikael Bridges, those boys and with, with, with uh, Hart and uh, Dante, they're going to be ready to play. And Julius Randle also, he's going to come back with it on his mind. I think he's going to embrace his role. I think right now they got a different type of energy, a different type of family type vibe there, and they're going to be excited to play night in and night out. Big perk. <laughs> big, big, bold announcement. Oh, boy. The best team in the NBA next season. Listen, man. It's going to hurt your heart. I want to agree with perk, but I can't. I got to take a page out of Flea's book. Um, that's not reality. Now, I agree we could be the best team in the NBA, but the best record in the NBA, I can't. I, I, I'm not. Let's be realistic. Boston won 60-plus games last season. I don't see us winning 65 games. Um, But being the best team in the NBA, I 100% agree with that. Barring any injuries, if we can stay healthy, we are the best team in the NBA. Constructed. Because we're constructed correctly. We have everything. And once we get... Now, if we had a legit backup center and um, our big guy... Because well, remember, there, there's some rumors that he's not playing in the beginning of the season. So we need to see how that pans out. Then I'm going all the way with Kendrick... Uh, I was about to say Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Perkins. But like I said, no backup center. But I agree with him as far as like we're going to be the best team in the NBA. We're going to be the most exciting team in the NBA. And we're going to be the most trolled and clickbait team in the NBA. But I can't agree with we're going to have the best record in the NBA because, once again, you know, teams is winning 60-plus uh, games, 65, 67, 68. I do see us winning. We won 50 last season. If we can win six, seven more games, that would be great. If we could get close to 60, let's say 54, 55, 56, and we could get 57 flea fade, listen, that's beautiful. But once again, I don't see us winning 60 plus games. That's tough. That means everything has to go perfect. And everybody that knows me, I'm 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 a I'm a discombobulated Knicks fan. I believe everything. I agree with everything. I jumps out the window. But on this one, that means everybody has to stay healthy. We have to be clicking on all cylinders. Tom Thibodeau has to do a hell of a job. For us to do that, like I said, man, we need everything to line up. So, you know, I think, you know, Perk is, is hype just like us. But I got to take a, uh, you know, I got to think about Flea when I think about this one. I can't just go too crazy and agree with that. But I definitely agree with, oh, we're going to be the best team in the NBA. If we stay healthy, when I say if everybody stay healthy, and like I said, you know, we probably talk about this later. All these these players we're acquiring, I think we got to trick up our sleeves. We get us a legit backup center. Like I said, that's a different talk. We need to hear about, you know, how Mitchell Robinson and Randall was healing. Are they going to be 100% healthy as the season comes, not 75, 80, 85%? Then we can circle back around and discuss this. But I do agree. We will be the best team and the most exciting team to see, to watch in the NBA this upcoming season. Oh, ball, you know what that, you know what Vegas is about, baby. And them Vegas odds, my fanatics, plus 300 for the Celtics, plus 700 for, this, for the Thunder, those are the top two. But the Knicks are tied for third place with the 76. Big Flea, we're tied for third place for championship odds according to Vegas. 
I know it doesn't mean much to you, heavy chain and all that. Would you put your chain on the line for that best record in the league, Knicks, next season? Nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I am looking at a team that has done a lot of different things to upgrade during the summer. I'm like extremely impressed with everything that we've done, right? Every we, We're getting back, guys. We traded for a, a, a really good piece in Mikel Bridges. And then we like, like add in depth pieces, right? Josh Hart goes back to the bench, his natural position. DiVincenzo goes back to the bench, his natural position. These guys can start. They're start. They can play start in minutes. You saw what they did last year. They did that because they had to. But what I'm saying is you, you put them back into a position now where you don't have to rely on them as much. Then you grab, you know, a campaign. You know, you grab Twin Morris. You know, you grab, you know, you grabbing depth pieces. Deuce McBride is going to be better this year. Like all these little pieces are, are making sense for what we're trying to do. So I do see us being better than the 51 team. I do see us being like a 55 to 57 win team. But at that range, the way the NBA is right now, I don't think that's good enough to have the best record in the league. We're talking about, like OG said, a, a Boston Celtics team that I think won 66 games last season, right? Like they they put up a lot of wins, right? And so there was other teams that got really uh really high you know, 50 went like, I don't know if we could pull up the records from last year and, and kind of take a look at, at what everybody did, but the Celtics so, uh, won, they won 64 games. I'll pull up the rest of that. Okay. So I'm just saying for us to have the best record in the league, we would have to win over 60 games, maybe even over 65 games. That's a lot of games to win. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if we're, equipped to do that now i think we're going to be a top five team in the league not even in the eastern conference i think when 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 we get to the end of next season we're going to be a top five team so last season the boston celtics won 64 games the knicks won 50 games those are the only teams in the eastern conference to win 50 games oh, wow. uh the bucks won 49 cleveland That's cavaliers 48 orlando magic 47 paces 47 and the 76ers, of course, they're gonna we expect them all to be in the mix. 47 wins as well. Uh, as far as the Western Conference, they had five different teams with 50 plus wins. Uh it's Oklahoma City Thunder, Denver Nuggets, Minnesota Timberwolves, LA Clippers, and the Dallas Mavericks. How, Phoenix how many, was, how many was one top, win short. How many the top team? How, how many games did the top team win in the West? 57 wins by the Nuggets and the Thunder. Wow, Nuggets won 57 games last season? Yeah. yeah. Wow, they, they had wow. a strong start. Remember, they had a, like was no, it ten and old half or something like that. Like they, yeah. Wow, wow. Okay, can can I say something real quick before you go, Fabian? See, for me, our Knicks team, we have to be careful because sometimes you can win sixty plus games, and then you know that can wear you down, and the next thing you know, we get to the playoffs and we burn ourselves out. So you know, for me, you know, we have the type of team that. We just need to have a good season, a healthy season, and just play great basketball. Um, so we just have to be careful with because sometimes, you know, teams chase certain things and don't see the bigger picture. Uh perfect example, Golden State Warriors, when they went 73 and 9, they chased that record and got to the finals and fizzled out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, same thing for same thing for the Miami Heat when they won 27 in a row. Exactly. I think that yeah. that might have hurt them. Did they play OKC that year? When, right. I, they won when they won twenty seven in a row. They didn't. They lost the championship. I think. They, oh, you, you might. You're right. No, they no, might no, have no, won, no, but they, it still took won, a lot out of them. Okay. Yeah. But right, 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 yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. But my thing is, like I said, I just don't want us to chase the best record because that's not, that's not, you know, our goal. Right. Our goal is to play great basketball, stay healthy. And win a championship so we just have to be careful with uh chasing a record now of course we want to stay in that 50 plus range so you know that's that should be the goal but i just want to say that we have to be very careful we do not want to win all those games and then when it gets to the playoffs we break down we tie it we exhausted we mentally drain 
guys get hurt, and then next thing you know, we get our ass kicked in the playoffs, then that means nothing. So we just got to be careful with that. It was the second longest winning streak, and that was the the second of the back to back uh, wins in the for for the Miami Heat with the, the the big three that kicked off the new era. Um, I'm gonna hit y'all with the all ball. You guys made great points, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> but you said something, Flea. That's like I gotta shoot it back at y'all. What team in the league can say that their starters from last season is now moving on to the bench? I don't see that. The Boston Celtics are waiting for the Porzingis to return from injury again. Is Drew Holiday going to be injured? Derek White has to be, you know, reemerge. There's some beef between Tatum and, and Brown. No matter what they say, it's two two alpha guys. It feels like that are going to aim for the top the top spot. I think the regular season victories are up for grabs because if Boston won 64 last year. We were the only other 50 win team, and that's with us without our full deck. I just don't see I see the defense getting better. Uh, we'll get into you know the particulars of every you know the personnel a little bit later, but the Randall replacing Hartenstein minutes to me, the second half of the season is gonna be major. Obviously, we're waiting for Mitchell Robinson and everything like that. There's just too many players on this team. It feels like a college team. Uh, the Nova Knicks right on brand, but it's in the Eastern Conference for league. Like you're the one who stressed it the most. East ain't like the West. The West, you got maybe one or two nights off if you if you out there in the West Coast. In the East Coast, you can you can bench OG a couple of days, give him some rest. You can load management. I know it's Tibbs. I disagree with that. Well, compared to the West, no, no, no. I totally disagree with you saying um we could take nights off and you could bench how um Cleveland is is is, is a great uh regular season team. Orlando, we know about Philly. You got Boston. Let's not forget Milwaukee. We can say what we want. They still got two dogs over there. That's super legit. And then even if you go to the bottom, like I said, Toronto is a team that is constructed that can give people fits. Not saying that they're going to do anything, but and then even with uh, you still got Miami. No, no telling what they're going to do with Jimmy Butler. But Fabian, you're big on Miami. So and Orlando and then, and then right and then Indiana is good. And then you got Lonzo Ball coming back for Chicago. So I, my but but. but Right, right. No, they garbage. But what I'm well, saying is, I'm no, just no. saying, bottom half, the, the OG, real quick, the bottom half of that Eastern Conference is not All right, in, but, in comparison to the Western Conference. If you start looking at team, go ahead. But I, but I wasn't, I wasn't comparing it to the West Coast. So okay. I just want to, yeah, I wasn't, the West Coast is much, is tougher. I'm not comparing that. I'm saying besides Atlanta, uh, maybe Chicago and Toronto, everybody else is legit. So I don't believe that we can, take nights off and sit guys down because even those three teams can get hot, you know? So I just think it's much tougher than what Fabian is saying. Can I counter with this, Flea? And I'll I'll pass the baton to you. Okay. I'm saying if you take, if OG takes the night off, I'm not scared of the Cavaliers. I'm not scared of Boston. I'm not scared of none of these teams. That's what I'm saying. And, And to be honest, that's against any team, but particularly these East Coast teams. Randall could take the night off. I'm not scared of none of y'all. We can win y'all without our best out there. That's all I'm saying. And in the, the West, that's tougher to do for four games against each team in that conference. Well, for me, I was thinking about teams like Washington, teams like Chicago, teams like Charlotte, teams like Detroit, teams like you know, teams like that. Like the bottom hat. Like, Wait, hold on, just I, listen. No, Charlotte, Detroit, Washington. <laughs> I forgot. You forgot. <laughs> I is forgot what you said it. OG? Yeah, is man. I, yo, wow. I just, named, I just named three teams that we're gonna play four times. What is to do the math on that? What's that's, that's, that's 12, 12 13 games. That's 12. That's like, games. you said three teams that them three teams four, four times. Time. That's 12. That, that like, should be 12 and no, that should be 12 wins. You mark off. That's, but that's what I'm saying. Out of those 12 games, does OG have to play all of those games? Out of those 12 games. Do we have to play Brunson high minutes? Like, there's a concern for me right now, right? There's a concern for me right now. And, I mean, that, that goes with any team. We are adding a lot of guys, right? A lot of guys are coming back from injury. We adding, we, we adding some pieces, right? Do y'all – are y'all concerned about building chemistry 
with the guys that we're bringing in, at, at, you know, we got a target on our backs now. We were the second seed. We were a 50-win team, right? We have a top five MVP candidate in the league. Like, we can't approach this next season like we are, you know, the hunters still. We the hunted now. Like, we're a team that 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 teams are going to game plan for. There are going to be schemes for Jalen Brunson next season. Like, how do we look at, at us – when we are fully constructed, going almost 10 deep, are there any concerns for chemistry? Oh, boy, I think well, we got to we gotta hold off on that one because that leads to the, to the next topic. And I don't want to get to the next topic before we get to our peoples. Fact of news. Warmer, sunnier days are calling. Fuel up for them with no factors, no prep. With factors, no prep, no mess meals. Meet your wellness goals in time for summer thanks to the menu of chef-crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Factors fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. So no, no matter how busy you are, you'll always have the time to enjoy nutritious, great-tasting meals. Make today the day you kickstart a new healthy routine. What are you waiting for? With 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from every week, you'll always have new flavors to explore. Crush your wellness goals this May with dietitian approved meals and ingredients that you can trust. Make your day delicious from breakfast to dessert. Stay fueled with easy, nutritious options. Treat yourself to restaurant-quality meals that feature ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, and blackened salmon. Keep kitchen time to a minimum. Factor meals are ready in two minutes. No shopping, prepping, cooking, or cleaning up. Enjoy effortless support for your lifestyle. Choose from six menu preferences to help you manage calories, maximize protein intake, avoid meat, or simply eat well-balanced. Head to factormeals.com slash ABTV50 and use code ABTV50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code ABTV50 at factormeals.com slash ABTV50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is Active, y'all know what this was. Next rehab, oh, oh boy, oh, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Isus Pribe.